Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Al Ihsan Foundation live stream. Alhamdulillah, today I'm joined by our brother, the bearded athlete, where we're going to break down the 100 kilometer run to raise $100,000 to feed over 1,000 people every single day in Ramadan, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa How are you feeling? Alhamdulillah, good. How about you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, that's good to hear. I want to, I actually want to ask you. Yes, sir. What possessed you to say, I'm going to do 100,000 dollars to fundraise and i'm going to run 100k to get that money i was watching some <laughs> david goggins <laughs> nah okay <laughs> okay um when you told me uh we'll start with ten thousand dollars i was like you know i've done that before mm. yeah and before i came to see you guys here at Al Ihsan, yeah i was uh, watching ned brockman's story of how he ran every day 80 kilometers Every day. Every day. 80 kilometers. Wow. From Perth to Sydney, Bondi, uh, to raise uh, raise a very substantial amount. And it wasn't the first time I'd uh, heard about someone doing something like that from the uh, east or inner Sydney. Yeah. And being in the community when in terms of like training, boxing, weights, all that, you come across some uh, some brothers, some people they're naturally uh, very gifted. They have great athleticism, yet it's uh, overshadowed in our community. It's not really shown, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I thought uh, this was sort of like a path to not only raise a lot of money for a great cause. I mean, you're feeding 1,111 1, 1, people every day. Every day, yeah. Um, but also maybe a pathway into something bigger for the future, for the community. Yeah, yeah, definitely, inshallah. We always limit ourselves, I find. Um, I yes. feel like it's there's an element of fear when it comes to fundraising. The fear of failure, the fear of not reaching that amount, or just, you know, if you have a big goal and you only make a small portion of that goal, you get demotivated. But really, you've still raised more than what was, you know, the day before or the day before that. I experienced that, yeah. Yeah, I remember you were feeling yeah. a bit down because I was reading your, I was watching your Instagram story. story. Yes. And I'm like, man, this guy's <coughs> feeling down, but really the amount, was a few thousand. I think yeah. it was about four and a half. Uh, that's four and a half thousand and people are going to be eating from that. So there's no reason to feel down about whatever amount you can raise. Th there's no there's no reason to feel down about it. You're right. But you know, when you... You, you have a goal. When you're <laughs> a, I, like, I like to try and be a high achiever. You know what I mean? I like to set a, mar a goal and yeah, try to yeah, achieve yeah. it. You know what I mean? That's something I noticed when I first... Uh, when we first sat down to talk about this uh, straight away from the first five minutes of talking to you, this guy's like highly ambitious. Yeah. Mm. Highly motivated, Allah Mubarak, and Thank you. there's nothing uh, that will stop you, inshallah. Because I thought, uh, so so how, what I initially thought, yeah, was that if we made it something this big, 100k for 100k, everybody would want to get behind it and everyone would be trying to like, you know, sort of, you know, push you. Like we wanted to organize people to be a part of it as well, to run. Yeah. Um, that didn't work out because of the short timing, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, like, yeah. It unfortunately. Was a it was short time to plan everything. Um, and then, like you said, uh, we're now did the fundraiser so far. Alhamdulillah, since we got, we're past 4K now. Yeah, yeah. Substantial. We are, alhamdulillah, I think it was just under 19,000. Just under 19,000. That's yeah. good, inshallah. I'm still so happy. Alhamdulillah, it's a great amount. Great amount. Much better than 4,000. So you would have passed that 10K mark and you would have been like, alhamdulillah. But you bumped it up to 100. <laughs> I bumped it up to 100. <laughs> because, like, I feel. Uh, I feel like if you don't try to push yourself, you don't get better. You're just going to stay the same. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna um, exceed expectations if you're always limiting yourself to exactly. taking the comfort road or the easy way out. You have to get out of the comfort zone. You have to push yourself beyond your own limit to know like how capable you are of achieving something great. And alhamdulillah, like it's it's I've noticed from just in the office this goal has motivated others to push even harder with themselves as well. Alhamdulillah, that's good. So it's uh, very good, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, something that's lacking in the community. Inshallah, bit by bit, we can uh, bring back that motivation because voila, we have the tools to be great with our deen, with our physicality, with our characters. We have so much potential to be like amazing people. And inshallah, like stepping stones, we'll get there inshallah. It's unfortunate where we've ended up though. You know what I mean? Because when you told me about these things, uh, on, on this same topic about being ambitious, 
you know, the Sahaba and the Prophet Sallallahu throughout the entire, uh, all the battles they had, they were always outnumbered at the start. Mm. And if they weren't outnumbered, then we wouldn't see it as such a great feat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But them being out- outnumbered forced them to be ambitious in winning, yeah. in achieving victory. And sometimes if you really want to excel in anything, you need to be just that ambitious. You need to put yourself beyond the reason of, of uh, beyond the reason of reason. Yeah. So you can't reason with yourself that there's a chance that you know you'll fail. It's inevitable that you might fail, but it's your belief that inshallah will get you across the line. Yeah, and I think, like you said, when when if you were to have the higher numbers, you might get a bit lax, thinking, "Oh, we've got the we've got the bigger numbers. We've got this. We'll definitely have the victory." Whereas the people with the smaller numbers, like the the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba, they had to think strategically. And it was because of their way of thinking and their strategies that allowed them to overcome the the other side or the exactly the rivals exactly. Like if it went smoothly, next time we'll do the same thing. But now yeah. we're talking about you know, next time we can plan it earlier. We can make it a much bigger event. We can have more of the community involved, the youth involved. They can yeah. run as well, and inshallah, open up the path to a bigger project. Inshallah, it'd be inshallah. good next time to to have it in a maybe get you running as well. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me a bike ride next time. <laughs> Don't tell me 100 cases. <laughs> you were telling me you were going to sit in the van, you were just going to eat your visit. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. the camera guy. Uh, nah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 like they organize all the cameras here. He does, he does. Um, no, inshallah. The most I've done personally is, is 14 kilometers. Inshallah, that's still good. But that's that was in my fitter days. Far. I haven't I haven't ran properly in two months. Sure. That's, that's crazy. Um, Disappointing, eh? That, that I can say that. I listen. I can't talk because when you when you told me about the the run, I wasn't running whatsoever. I just uh, I just uh, last uh, last I think it was last year this year. I can't remember at this point. Just a bunch of injuries happening one after another. Subhanallah. So I was just like cruising it this year, and I was like, I'm gonna get better. And then this happened. I was like, oh, six weeks. Let's just get it. So six weeks is a short time to train for something that big. It is. Did it you is. ever have like moments of regret, <coughs> thinking to yourself, why? Uh, when I did that 50k fasted, yeah, I tried to do that fasted. We had a heat wave that day; it was 33 it was degrees. Hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so many things went wrong. Only wh- like wh- 10 k's in. What can you pinpoint that went wrong? <coughs> so, for sure, I had um, like a handful of oats and some peanut butter. I thought you were gonna say burgers or something. <laughs> Camel burgers weren't open at that time. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Ramadan yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no kak available. So it wasn't it wasn't Ramadan yet, was it? No, but it wasn't. you you had done it fasted though. So yeah, we attempted fasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are there are a few things now that it's too late to change anything. There are a few things I should tell you. Hmm. I've never ran more than twenty k's. I told you I've ran fifty k's before. I've never ran more than twenty k's. But I knew if I said to you that I've never ran fifty k's before, you know, everyone would have been iffy about doing it. So no, like uh I get what you mean. But we would have, if you believe you can do it, and if you have that motivation to do it, then we won't really stop you. We'll be there to support. Because I saw you guys were worried. I'm worried because uh, it's 100 kilometers. Yeah, it's 100 kilometers. It's and I'll be worried it, yeah. for anyone. I don't care how, for how fit the person is. 100 mm. kilometers is a, it's a big task. It's a big task. But I, mean, I think uh, Alex has been very supportive. My coach, Jaden, he was very supportive as well. Uh, coach Keith was very supportive. Shout out to them. Shout out to Barakallah them. Allah. 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 Alhamdulillah. Um, and they helped me uh, heaps to prepare as much as possible. So, but on, in regards to that 50k, uh, we didn't carb load, we didn't water load. So it was just uh, a few cups of water, oats, and and honey. Oof. And then we started running, and it was like the peak of the heat wave. Um, and then man, just started sweating. Like, but I've never ran in the heat wave before, mm. so I just started sweating, sweating. So we got into like uh, K15, K16, and I'd felt like I'd ran like 33 kilometers or something. Mm. And then. Uh, uh, I stopped. I uh, broke my fast. I wasn't. It wasn't like Ramadan or anything. I just, yeah, yeah. I just was fasting just to test it out. Um, Jaden said we should water load, carb load. So break the fast. Broke the fast, and then the uh, map started playing up. Took me uh, from from Auburn to Fairfield, to Fairfield East, to Warwick Farm, and then Warwick Inn. Oh wow! Yeah, and then it took me to a spot where it was just road. There was nowhere to run. It was the highway. I was like, hello, I'll die <laughs> just trying to cross back to <laughs> Liverpool. So I ran back to the area. And then, uh, and then, uh, at that point, I just felt like the heat wave just really got me. Yeah. And I was just forcing myself, forcing myself until we got to like 42. And then uh, I felt like something was starting to pull in my left leg. 
I think like yeah. Hamil or something. Yeah. Um, Jay said it's dehydration it's probably. It's fine. So, so you, you stopped at 42 kilometers? 42 kilometers, yeah. But even that, to, to me, that's that's gr- like a great number. It's not something to be like, oh, I don't, you know. It's a great number, but it wasn't 50. Because you're, you're only eight kilometers away from what you wanted to do. So that would have been like a, a burn for you. A big burn, yeah. Yeah. Because everyone was asking me, you know, you get those like people that are smart. They message you on social media. Oh, what happened, brother? Eight kilometers. What happened to the fifty? Oh, you know, where I mean? are they sitting at home in their comfort? Uh, probably, have probably. The but aircon on, watching they Netflix. They <laughs> they have the chance to <laughs> rub it in. To rub it in, yeah. And yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's not something uh, you want. You know what I mean? Like you got that lady guy. Yeah. I said not even your. Sakhir, you want to say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So inshallah. Subhanallah. Sometimes. So we're gonna do it on Saturday, inshallah. And we're gonna do it on a treadmill as well. On the treadmill. In tra- tra- so the goal with that <coughs> is to do uh, the whole 100 on the treadmill or how's that going to work? So um, initially it was going to be on the road from Blackheath uh, yeah. near Bathurst. <coughs> but because of the short timing we had, we couldn't map it out. And uh, everyone that's going to be with me, the brothers, you, Ahmed, uh, Anas, uh, Jaden, they're all going to be fasting. Yeah, I wouldn't want them following me uh, from Blackheath all the way down to Sydney. Um, it's not right. You know what I mean? Not that uh, we'd mind, to be completely honest. It's just not right, but we see. It's up to you. <laughs> it's not up right. to you. Uh, uh, what's it called? So um, what we decided was uh, we will get a treadmill, uh, put out Soul Performance, yep. and we'll pump out uh, 95Ks on a treadmill. Uh, it's going to be a bit... I think it will be a lot harder on the treadmill. Just I, I in think so too. In front of a wall for, for 12 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, it's just a mind game at that point then because you're just seeing the same thing Mm. I think that's where it's important that people come in, show support, give you that motivation, keep going. So mm. if anyone is free on Saturday, but I, I got a runner's high, so <laughs> <laughs> that's an inside. That's yeah, an inside that's joke. An inside joke, joke that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get into that one yet. <laughs> no, not, that one's that one's for the books only. That one's private. <laughs> um, no, nah, but um, but yeah, whoever is free, come down on Saturday, inshallah. Inshallah. Soul performance in Chesty Hill. Soul performance, Chesty Hill. And maybe possibly if they want to finish the last five k's to the masjid. Um, yeah. I can forget the name of that masjid. Masjid Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, yeah, yeah Masjid Abu Bakr. 1B, 1B Melissa Street in Auburn. 1B Melissa Street, that's the um, one. So the final five kilometers will be from Soul Performance in Chester Hill um, to the masjid where the finish line will be set up, inshallah. Inshallah, man. And then we'll be there recording you breaking that finish line and takbir, inshallah. And then we'll be done. And then you'll be done. On to the next one. On to the next inshallah, one. Inshallah, it'll be good. Inshallah. Um, so with the, with the treadmill, I know some people are expecting you to go on the road, mm. but what they need to understand is um, the timing. Mm-hmm. With with Ramadan, like you said, you you're thinking about the people that want to go up there with you. Um, I think if it's in a gym, there's more chances of people coming in and joining, mm-hmm. um, because the gym will obviously have its own treadmills as well, where people can just jump on and do their uh, thing. No. There's only one treadmill. There's only one treadmill. They, they don't have uh, treadmills at the moment at Soul Performance. Maybe we can look into it, inshallah, maybe. Um, getting a few treadmills. Uh, that'll be all finalized like on the day. But um, what's it called? It's also about the... Um, when when I first when I first said 100 kilometers, mm. in my mind, I didn't understand how much 100 kilometers was mm. until I went home and I jumped on Google and I was like, all right, so Chester Hill to Banks uh, to um, Bondi, that's twenty five k's. Really? Yeah. So it's it's here to Bondi four times. Wow. Um, Sometimes it feels like a chore just driving there. Yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred k's does not feel that far in a car. And then I um I went with Jaden on this uh, on this um, map on Google. You could map out a run. Yeah. And we went through nearly half all of Western Sydney just to get to one hundred k's. Wow. Chester Hill, Bankstown, Campbelltown, uh, Seven Hills, Kasula, uh, through uh, Parramatta, through um, the hills, all those uh, back down to the city and then back to back to here, Chester Hill. That's and that turned out to be, near, I think, like 80 something case. So it wasn't even the complete it 100. It wasn't even a complete 100. But that's, that's, that's a hike. It's it, a hike. It is a hike, yeah. And that's, wow. that's because we're trying to keep the run like as straight as possible with minimal turns. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like a massive lap. And you got to consider the elevation. The elevation. Um, you got to consider the if you're turning a lot, traffic yeah. lights, cars, all that sort of stuff. I think mm. that's that's the thing that um, maybe is is better the way you're doing it because 
if people are or were going to join you, then their safety is is extremely important to us as well. Exactly. Um, running on the road, we don't know how many people would have joined. You know, just we were planning originally to take registrations. Yes. But we needed um, council sort of approval for that because we need to set up our, a, a, a a route. Yeah. And we, we need to get that liability. The liability we needed to get like. Yeah. Um, traffic controllers so mm-hmm. it was a lot bigger than we initially thought yeah the hydration stations yeah. uh, the floor ready for I- everyone that joins yeah yeah, yeah. just the timing was was very very short but yeah. the intention was there alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. That's good. i think yeah like you said earlier um this is like uh it's like a lesson on how to plan it for the future inshallah learning curve yeah it all got to start somewhere you know what i mean this exactly. is just a seed for a tree that's going to grow nice you like that one? I do like that one. Fist bump. <laughs> write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> write it down. Use it, <laughs> use it at home. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of motivation for the wife. Oh, I just, uh, I just don't know. I've been trying. To it's a seed for the flat in the future. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, good. It's good. Um, I want to ask you. Tell me. Do you have anything funny or embarrassing that's happened to you on a run? <laughs> oh, brother. Where do you start? <laughs> Give us one thing. Um, you know, it's got to be embarrassing, bro. It's embarrassing, <laughs> embarrassing. Listen, I'm human at the end of the day. Yeah? Of course, you are. I'm human at the end of the day. So once I'm I'm running to um, where was I running to? I think I was running up to Kasula, or I was, is it Chungkan? Yeah, I was running up to Kasula, and uh, as I was running, a uh, car went past me, and they uh, they yelled at me. You know what I mean? Like uh, some girls in the car, and I was I was like trying to act all cool and everything. Like, you know, didn't, not responding that anyway. And then I'm like, just drive past, Hussey. I drove past. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's not that awkward. Because I'm not a very social person. You yeah. know? Unless I know the person, I'm not very social, yeah? yeah? So I'm like, oh, they drove past. And then the light went red. And then i gotta, I got to run past now, yeah? So I'm, I get to the light. And then I'm like, light go green, light go green. Light goes green. And as I'm going to run past the, you know that vest I was wearing? The one that holds the phone in? The one I did yeah, 50K yeah, yeah. ripped? Yeah. That's when it ripped. And oh, the phone okay. came flying out and he fell down behind me. <laughs> so I, as I was running across the road, I turned back around to go get the phone. And it was like, just awkward. Because they're on the red light. Yeah. Oh. And it was just like an awkward moment. And I was like, how's he, man? Just that's, run. Uh, yeah, that's one of the ugly things about running on the road. Mm, very ugly. And yeah. it was embarrassing as well. That vest I could have ripped at any time you ripped at that moment. Alhamdulillah. How's he? Everything happens for a reason, eh? Mm, yes, sir. It happens so that we can hear that story. Or maybe so it's humbled me a bit, you know what I mean? Maybe. You never know. <laughs> also, when I was telling you about runner's high. <laughs> oh, here we that go. Was, that was, a, that was, a, I was trying to explain, I was trying to explain to Yusuf, which one's the camera? Your camera. Is I, was, I was trying to explain to Yusuf what runner's high was. And uh, I was telling him that, like, there's a chance sometimes when you're running, you get runner's high, which is, um, you're so into the run, you drift off, like, mentally. And, and then like when you snap out of it, you just, and like you just ran a certain distance. And I'm trying to explain it to Yusuf like that. And what did he think is that if they don't keep their eye on me, that I'll just disappear. drift off and I'll disappear and I'll end up in, in the Gold Coast or Bathurst or something. That's when we pack up, this never happened? That doesn't happen, but that's what I was trying to explain <laughs> to you. That's what I was trying to explain. That that doesn't happen. Yeah, but because. And then I was trying to tell him that if I'm into the groove and I'm just running and I'm just, you know, momentum, like don't stop me, it doesn't matter what, like, even sometimes when you're running, you get dehydrated. Like you could, you could, like uh, you could piss, you could piss blood. Like it's normal. And I was telling him, like you know, just just leave it, let it happen, and let, let let the run continue. And this guy just looked at me like, yeah, I can't let that happen. If I see blood running down the road, <laughs> <laughs> you want but me to just oh, it's normal. But I'm trying to I'm trying to explain to you that it could be normal in that certain situation where you're just dehydrated and it's just, you know, you know what I mean. I know what you mean now. And then I told and then I told you and then I told <laughs> oh, you, to, you don't want to go into that to one. put the bucket in the back of the van in case you guys need to use the bathroom and you don't lose track of me and I said like, just don't throw it on me. Just, that was one of the most uh, embarrassing days. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should stay on track to the podcast because they're not gonna understand what's going on. Even here you remember <laughs> All right, um, that's actually something interesting that I was wondering. So how it, a run that that long and that intense, that's going to take easy 10 hours to complete. 
Mm, 12. At the pace we want to run at 12. Yeah, so that's 12 hours. Mm -hmm. How do you refuel running at a distance like that? Okay, that's good you asked me now because just today, Jonah said, sent to me what I need to eat. Yeah. So over the next, uh, so we are on today, Wednesday. So we got Thursday. F wow, is today Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Wow. Let me double check. Yeah, today is Wednesday. Wow, okay. Sean's crazy. Okay, so today, um, Thursday and Friday, a bunch of pasta for f whatever mom makes for iftar because it's carb loading carb loading uh but mainly focused on pasta avoiding fruits avoiding vegetables uh, minimal fiber you don't want to be you don't want to just be going to the bathroom because what's going to happen is so uh, every 20 k's you burn around 2000 calories right so you're going to get to around like uh the 50k mark you would have burnt nearly what nearly 5000 calories yeah plus so you don't want to just suddenly need to use the bathroom use the bathroom time from all the fiber you've been been Consuming, eating recently yeah, yeah. so you just want to make it starchy so uh, a lot of pasta um a lot of whatever mom makes i hope they didn't hear that <laughs> a lot of um, very subtle thanks mom <laughs> a lot of um peanut butter smoothies uh, i'm just gonna it's around 360 grams of carbs Oof. yeah that's usually but, way over what you should yeah consume. uh normally i'm on like two 250 240 mm. 360 an extra 100 grams of carbs um and then on uh friday saturday morning we have our last meal where we have around like 200 grams of carbs i think around school time yep and then get ready to run at 12. we run at 12. um we drink some water before we start no i'm just joking we're fasting <laughs> you drink him. <laughs> so, we drink, so we're fasting so we don't get to eat anything yeah. but we'll pack some peanut butter jam sandwiches uh we'll pack uh some gels full of sodium yeah i think uh they were dropped off earlier yeah you saw those well. as well yeah, yeah, yeah yep those ones i've never seen them before you've never they taste bad they taste like trash do they yeah really bad i Disgusting. actually thought maybe they're like a jelly kind of thing they are like a jelly but like a salty not a nice jelly uh, salty uh, warm jelly yeah yeah I, d I did not like them at all i like the uh, we got caffeine gums as well yeah they're full of magnesium and sodium and stuff um just to give the energy boost and whatnot and we got uh hydrolyte Hydrolyte. Yep, just the body retains uh, water. That's another thing as well. So from uh, today, tomorrow, and fr uh, Saturday, uh, drinking as much water mixed with hydrolyte as well. So your body absorbs and holds water. So it's like a full science leading up to this thing. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's not, it's not something like, oh, I'm just going to run 100Ks out the door and you're running. No. I think if you... planned. Yeah, I think if you have like um, some experience, like... Uh, like you know, training in some sport or something in some form of athleticism you could do it maybe not running the whole thing um but if you want to run the whole thing or you want to like get it in a, in a in a good standard time you probably need to train substantial for it yeah nice 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 online says like six weeks um a program and then six weeks uh, a final program or something i didn't understand what they were saying yeah i left that to Jaden. he's the brains behind the operation what's, what's the ideal time like if for future how long would you do you think you would need to prepare properly for something like this uh uh listen if you want to run it comfortably and you just want to smash it out you need around like two three months oh wow yeah if you want to if you want to do it properly we've cut that about halfway we've cut that by a lot of more a lot more than halfway yeah six right. weeks six weeks yeah inshallah all goes well because you need one week tape a week so this is what we have right now where you just yeah. don't run and run. how would your recovery be after that so what would you do for recovery Oof. uh well we're going to the day after the <laughs> day after <laughs> yeah, day after so uh we run I thought on saturday. You had like a week buffer no no saturday then sunday then Umrah monday monday oh, really night. yeah so just submerge myself in ice yeah 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 and now i feel bad let's go Umrah in my place you'll be all right oh yes please <laughs> i'll have to ask for about 10 days off Khalas, probably please. won't be able to take do that no i need i need the trip inshallah <laughs> inshallah jazakallah khair man um well a great insight and inshallah i hope that people um yani inspire some some people to change their lifestyles and inshallah it'd be good I, I think our community needs to get a bit more active inshallah starting with myself i've been a bit a bit lazy recently so khalas inshallah after Eid ramadan starts after Eid Ramadan starts, after Eid the diet starts. I don't know how you celebrate Eid. 
سبع عيد بفور رمضان اي ونت تو دو رمضان تايمز 2 مينتو تشالنج ان شاء الله او هيت يو اب افتر يو كم باك فروم عمره ان شاء الله وي دو ليتل تريننج سيشن توجذر ان شاء الله ام ذاتس ات فور تونايت ان شاء الله Um, if you can, please support this campaign, inshallah. You can go on the Bearded Athletes Instagram page, click on the link tree, and the link to donate is on there, inshallah. It's been a pleasure speaking with you all. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, I don't know if I should say your real name. Why is it not say that? Say my name, it's Ahmed. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.